All right, video two in the series, um, Becoming the Pickup Artist That You Were Ever Meant to Be. Okay, this is about what you do once you know how to break the ice and once you're bold enough and ballsy enough to go in there. This is noticing the little things and making something out of them. So you wanna be crafty, you wanna be sly, but you wanna be, I'll just say this. You wanna be good at talking, you wanna be good at talking things, and you wanna think in terms of comedy, you wanna think about comedy first, just to get this idea nailed down. And that's that you wanna be able to like refer back to things but in that sneaky, subtle way that like Daniel Tosh does, and you know, you just get it. It's like having an inside joke, but you know, being in on the joke because you're the one making the joke. Does that make sense? So if you want to know how you can get in with a girl, that's you know a fast way to get in. All right, get. Yeah, I will. I'll stop overthinking this because sometimes things mean different things. But anyway, um, it's just having that inside connection and just knowing it and making it you know strong enough. You can refer back to it and it's just a strong bond. So that's what you want to do, that's what you want to forward, that's what you want to make. Like subtly, I'm gonna say right off the bat, but just whenever it happens organically, because that's how it's gonna happen. It's something you can plan for, it's something you can pre-rehearse. It's not anything you can know ahead of time, because it all just happens live. Sorry, the camera's at a weird angle, so I'm like having a weird time looking over at it, but um, and in the field. So just one of the things you just gotta know how to do from doing it. And um, when it happens, you just gotta go with it. And over time, you'll just get better at it, so. It's cool, cool. It's like one of those things, like a skill you can work on. You're trying to get better at talking to girls or picking up girls or just get better with girls. I don't know. But um, it's definitely something that you just get the knack for and you can just roll with. So an example is, let's say she has like a little thing on her wrist or something, like a memento or a pendant or something like that. You can just talk about it or make reference to it. But I can't, you know, make one off the top of my head or spur of the cuff because I only know this stuff in real life. But let's say if I was with a girl, she had one, you can make like, obviously you don't make fun of her life, but um, you can make a reference to it in a way, and I'll say three things, it's either meaningful, sentimental, or playful, which is the three things you wanna go for. You wanna be someone who means something to her, you wanna be someone who reminds her of something specific in her life that's A, relevant to who you are as a person, but how you convey yourself specifically, and B, relevant to herself, because the way it is, but makes her think of you as someone who relates to her somehow in terms of something she's experienced or something that's relevant to her memory in real life, right? Because if you're just a guy who isn't relevant to her real life, has no relevance to her life, and is not a relevant person in her life, you're gonna go by the wayside and or drift by the wayside really quickly. Because if you have nothing in common, you're gonna go nowhere fast, just saying. Um, the third thing is, have fun. Because if you're a guy, and let's just say you use the term player, you should be playing, right? If you're, if you're there to uh, quote score, but not in the way that's like cheap and dirty and scummy and derogatory, but in a way that really matters. If you can score the winner, that's the end goal, so. But anyway, um, that, then um, you should um, you know, be having fun with it. You should be um, making it known and the parents are having fun. You shouldn't put anything else in front of it. I'll say this, the girl's not having fun, it's because A, she's not you. <laughs> if she's not enjoying it, then you're doing something wrong. So that's the point I'm trying to make. Um, if um, you're worried about what to say, don't worry about it. Just go from the heart or go from what's meaningful and you'll always be saying the right thing in my opinion. Um, if you're truly yourself, you don't get it, just play it off like it's not a big deal, because it's not, because it's not a big deal to you, so it shouldn't be a big deal to her either. Because um, you're not the person she's looking for, so she can just look or wait for Mr. Right to come around if you know, you're know you not the right person for her, let's just say. Um, B, if it's not something you connect with, which is just something completely different, like let's say, um, well, then maybe, you're, maybe you're like a farmer from the Midwest, and she's like um, a hard like Wall Street stockbroker, that maybe you wouldn't have that much in common. So maybe you can kind of go your separate ways and just go, oh cool, nice to meet you. So, you know, it doesn't have to be any, it's, it's, the motto or the mindset is no harm, no foul. So if you don't do anything wrong and she doesn't anything harm you either, then no hurt, right? <laughs> no butterness. Anyway, um, if you, and the third thing is just whatever you're doing, have fun with it. And even if it's a rejection, so to speak, or not a rejection, but even if you don't, guy, you, you don't align with her in that one way, a spiritual way, I guess I'll say, then just shake it off. Um, but in my world, I'd say, just don't let it get to you. So, you know, it's all to each their own. But you know, just realize that if she's not the right one for you, or if she's not the one for you, just keep looking and maybe someday you'll find her if only you look hard enough, right? So, but anyway, um, that's what I have to say about that. And everything else from there, I'll say this. Personalize yourself and your body and your lifestyle and your mindset so you at least have something that conveys something about you from the start. And if she wanted, if she notices things on you, which I'm assuming she will, um, she'll probably, you know, just get a good idea of who you are. That's a positive for sure right off the bat. Because you want to be someone 
who is, um, let me say this. You want your life to be apparent enough in the way you dress and present yourself that there's no ambiguity as to what kind of person you are or who you are. Because you should be, you know, as always, as they say, I'll say this, one person put it this way, and that's that it's like a sale, but you're selling yourself. And um, in that term, uh, you want to give a good presentation because if someone's going to buy what you're selling, you should at least be, you know, putting your top product on the line. I'll say that. And um, the, other than that, if nothing else, or I don't know. Uh, I think I was getting on topic there. But I will say this. Um, have what you have is representative and make it meaningful. Make it something that is meaningful to you. Don't, don't play at trying to wear stuff that's not actually stuff you care about and it's just like cheap junk that you think is going to be interesting because that's not the way you want to approach this. Um, what you want to do is find the things that truly matter to you and truly wear them because they truly do have some significance or relevance to your life. So with that in mind, um, it's the same thing except it's not always going to play out the same because girls aren't always um, as talkative because they're not traditionally the ones to be out doing the pickup because guys usually just come to them. But I'll say this, um, if you have... Um, the awareness that certain things have a similarity, then um, if you're the guy, be, um, you know, a guy. And if you want to meet a girl, and she has something cool about herself, be able to talk about it. But that's the difference, right? The guy is like um, the presentation master, I guess, or like the showboat of the entire thing. And you better be bringing your A-game, because just say if she's with her friends, they're going to notice. Um, if there's other guys around, they're going to notice too. And at the very least, she's going to notice as well as that internal thing in your head's gone. Hey, how am I doing, you know? Even if you don't have one, but that's just kind of something that's always there as a guy, which tells you when you're getting rejected or when it's like not the right time to proceed. But anyway, um, I'll say um, that too. Um, have an interesting something in your life to talk about. Um, doesn't mean uh, you can lie about your life. Doesn't mean you should put your life down for being different. Just means if you don't have any hobbies right now, you should at least get one hobby you like and be able to talk about it because if a girl asks you what do you do for fun or what do you do in your free time and you don't have an answer then that's immediately really lame you should at least have a life outside of just picking up girls and just going to talk to people because if you don't have a personal life that means you're lacking something and you need to develop that and find out what that is before you get out there or i'll say real quick before you get out there in the field trying to meet girls because um nobody likes someone who's boring them or is going to ruin their night and bring them down or is going to bore them because every girl is out there to have fun. If you're not gonna make your night better, then maybe you should just go your step away so you realize what you like and what you value in life and what's fun for you and who you can share that kind of time with. So keep that in mind. And the third thing is, um, what was I talking about? Oh, um, it's meaningfulness, sentiment, and, um, oh, connection. Um, you should have a heart and talk from it because if you're out there and you're being fake, let me tell you, buddy, that's not okay. So my advice to every uh, pickup artist there would be in the field is don't you fake it, uh, don't make it up, and don't try to break anything. Because if so, you're gonna buy it big time, the big guy upstairs, just saying. <laughs> but um, the, a good motto that I heard before, and this is something that I believe in, is leave a girl better than you found her. And that's um, a good way to say it. In every interaction, you should uh, treat people as people and as human beings and you know, value their individuality and their uniqueness. You just realize that if they're not the same as you, it's because they aren't. Um, if they don't want to be you, it's because they shouldn't. But that's not what I'm trying to say. It's more, um, if they have a different life than you, that's okay, because everyone does. And um, if they don't necessarily appear the same way as you, you can't judge them for that because it's okay to be different. At least in America, but not in the way that's like um, creepy to society. <laughs> so there. Um, uh, that is pretty much what I'm going to sum up in this video, but I'll say one more thing, and that's that um, once you have everything down pat, then just talk. It's that simple. And once you realize you can just do that, it takes all the worry, all the concern, all the frustration out of your head and just lets you live your life. And let me tell you, it's the funnest way to live your life. With that in mind, go out there, be yourself, talk the talk, walk the walk, wear the wear that's right for you, and I hope you succeed. So good luck, people. This is Jonathan. Peace out.